excellent. We now have downloaded the uh, Lineage OS Nugget into our uh, repository here. And you can see that it's saying that it's done, it's syncing its work tree, everything is uh, visually viewable here once you go into the Lineage OS Nugget uh, directory here. And it's ready for, uh, for building. Now before when we worked on AOSP you could run the lunch command and then the make command. And by running the lunch command you'd get your list of uh, different uh, available phones and tablets and then you'd run the make command to actually build it. Here what's interesting is you can run the brunch command. And the brunch command is great because it kind of does everything all together. It does breakfast and lunch. It, uh, it allows you to um, download all the information you need, uh, set it up for building, and it starts building right away. So you don't need to run brunch and then the make command. It just all happens at once. So let's take a look at that. Brunch. Well, of course, that won't work until we set up our build environment. So uh, we need to do that dot build forward slash environment setup dot shell which is going to add that brunch command and now we can run it so we type brunch and you see we have lots and lots of material to work with here um, a lot of different uh, different ones in here let's take a look in particular ones that I am familiar with would be best. And here we have the JF LTE XX um, which is the Samsung Galaxy S4 International which is one that I built quite a few ROMs for before. And then we have they do have the KLTE uh, Sprint Sport uh, which is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 for Sprint um, and both of those are good uh, good ones to build for and we'll go ahead and go with the uh, Galaxy S4 because that's one that I know really well so we'll say number 58 we'll hit enter uh, the first thing it does is it looks to see if it exists already and it can't find it and because it can't find it <clears throat> excuse me it'll go ahead and go look for it on github and it says okay I found it found a branch for it let's download that let's put it into our uh, manifest and let's get that material downloaded so we can start building so in particular if we're in the lineage OS underscore n or our nugget repository our directory where we're building whatever you want to call yours you can say view and uh, show hidden files or you can hit control h and down here we have this repo folder and in that repo folder we have local manifest and now it just created this one called room service and when we look at that what do we see it said hey we need this JFLTEXX which also requires the common which requires the QCOM common which requires um, Samsung QCOM dash common which is not the same as device QCOM common different paths as you can see there and it needs this external STL port and then it needs the kernel for it so downloads all of that material and that's what's happening right now and as soon as it's done downloading it's going to start the build which is great so we're going to let that run if uh, there's a problem or if something comes up we'll definitely stop and take a look at that and see what we need to change and then we'll look at how we add uh, something else to the list uh, add something else to our uh, local manifest our room service XML and uh, how we can make our own local manifest and download for other devices so we can start building them. So we'll uh, see how this goes.